They took two thousand dollars of my money. Why the f am I not on a flight back to war? Help me! Help me! Help me! Fuck you as a penis! Most people are able to board their flights without incident, but what happens when entitled passengers challenge law enforcement? Here are seven instances of airport Karens being a menace, starting with the infamous case of 30-year-old Karina. On January 8, 2023, police were called into the airport to control Karina, who was kicked off the airplane due to her yelling, spitting, and cursing at the employees. As the officers arrive at the scene, they find Karina walking away from the plane to the restroom. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no, you're not. Come here. Right. What's going on? Okay, well, I need cops to come right now. I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Thank you. I need the cops to come right now. Okay, open the stall. Let me. Let me. I'm not comfortable to do that in a second. Okay, well, I can talk to you through the stall. They don't just want anybody to get off the flight. There has to be a reason. They literally asked the whole crew. The whole crew did not say they could get off the flight. They didn't. I voluntarily left because I know how it's like letting your flight. Can you open the door so we can go figure this out? Um, no, I don't feel comfortable with that because I feel like the, the whole reason I don't feel comfortable. Can you no. open the stall? I'm still, I'm, I'll let you stay on the toilet and no, I'll just, I'm going to stand right here. I'm not even going to come in. I'm not even going to come in. You're going to arrest me for what? Who said I was going to arrest you? Karina refuses to come out of the bathroom stall and cooperate with the officers. She lets the officers know that her dad is a lieutenant, so the law doesn't apply to her. The whole ordeal lasts for several minutes, with Karina even threatening to call 911 on the officers. It's no! No, I don't feel safe. Can I just call 911 from here? Yeah. Can I just have your phone? Because I don't feel safe. Yeah. Honestly, but can you I open the door? No, no, no. I want to call. I, you're, you're we are 911. Yeah. No, no, no. You're restricting me from 911 access because no, I want to We seven. are 911. No, no. You're restricting me from 911 access. That's the did, did you? So did you have anything to drink that would make them think that you would need to be on the plane? What? Why would they keep you off? Eventually, Karina comes out of the stall after the officer tells her she might be able to get rebooked. Well, well do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't. I'm not on the plane. I'm not going to their whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I'm but if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can I get swear to God, be the most civilized person here. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm not gonna talk to you. We're gonna talk. Thank you. We're gonna be here with you the whole time. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink today? I'm, I'm not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Can we, can we, yeah, let's just go out here. Just be honest. She doesn't tell the officer if she had anything to drink. However, she does say she didn't do anything for people to think she was out of control. When the officers go and ask the airline worker, however, they get a different story. She was, she was I mean, but did she do anything other than like how did you how, or, how did you tell she was she was toxic? I didn't do it. Uh, it was Malik. So he might be able to oh. answer better, yeah. Malik, what was that lady doing? Um, that y'all had to leave the aircraft? Screaming, spitting, cussing, recording, everything. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> thank you. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to, okay? You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack Seriously? off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a disturbance. Take your backpack off. I'm not doing any of that. Karina is put under arrest for public intoxication. However, she does everything she can to make the arrest as hard for the police as possible. No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, okay. pull up the finish. No, okay. I, that's Karina. No, just calm down. No, okay. shoot me then. We're not going to no. We're not going to well, I tried to help you. you just want to no, 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 not you. But you, like, he's a liar. Because you just said some shit wasn't true. I don't want to question you. Where's your dad, a lieutenant? He's in Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Well, he can't help you here in Texas. Why not? He's going to win Rhode Island. Why not? But I'm a good buddy. I'm not. If somebody's not going to shut up, they will shut up. After she is told that her lieutenant father won't be able to help her get out of this situation, Karina realizes she won't be getting her way and gets agitated and starts resisting arrest even harder, which causes her to be neutralized to the ground. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. I don't want him touching me. Hey. I don't want him touching me. Stop. I said I don't want him touching me. Stop. I don't feel comfortable Stop. with him you want to stand up? You're saying that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy. I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. 
That's, this is what this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Oh, I don't want to touch you. Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
This is bullshit. Look at me. I spent two thousand dollars to be on a flight, and this is what I got. Don't ever buy an airplane ticket again, you idiot. You would think that one would chill out after being tased and pinned down by law enforcement, but not Brent. He keeps tormenting the officers and yelling out derogatory terms. I spent two thousand dollars to fly from. Medford to Longview and Longview right, to Medford. We're going to help you. Please, this leg up. this leg up. Kick this leg up. Kick this leg up. We're going to roll you up. Yeah, this leg up. Up to your back. There you go. There you go. There you go. Roll him up. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. I got the other end. All right. You stand up ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Come on. 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 Why is it that I couldn't take my carry-on and my backpack onto the airplane that I paid for? That's all I asked. Then they told me I couldn't take the flight no more. I'm sorry, first and foremost, for how I came off, because I am a business professional. I try to handle myself in a professional manner everywhere that I go. It's been a long day, a lot of travel, a lot of bullshit, and I've spent so much money to get to this point here, and I'm still dealing with this. So. Please forgive me for the, the brashness. I don't care about the, the legality of it. They, they can throw a legal statement on me. I'll, I'll pay it. I want you to know that personally, I did not mean that against you. It seems like Brent has realized that he got himself in a tricky situation and is trying to apologize his way out of any charges. If only it worked like that, had Brent cooperated with the officers from the start, he could have gotten away with just a misdemeanor and a fine, but now he's looking at serious felony charges and potentially jail time. He keeps apologizing profusely throughout his medical but quickly returns to his true selling at the car ride back to the station. I can assure you that the money that I will spend will be to buy a private jet, and I will never fly ever in my life. And I should be back at home with my kids right now. This would be a full-fledged fucking lawsuit against the state. All I did is ask why my bags that I purchased to be on that plane were not being put on that plane. And then you know what happened? I got tasered. Brett was charged with assault on a peace officer, a jailable offense, as well as resisting arrest and public intoxication. Anyone can be arrested for causing a nuisance at the airport, but what happens when foreign nationals think they're immune to the law? She keeps coming in and bothering no, this guy. No. He said he doesn't know her. I had a lot of wine. You had a lot of wine? 